today's tutorial, we're going to go through how to create a very simple landing page. So to get to landing pages, you want to go to your master navigation, go to marketing at the very top, website, and then landing pages. Landing pages, again, just basic pages that usually have a form in them that are used for some sort of conversion-centric conversion campaign. So there are two ways to create landing pages. Either you can clone, let's say you knew you had a landing page that you really liked, so you could actually find the landing page that you really like and then press clone. It'll tell you to rename it, or you can start from scratch and go to create landing page in the top right and then find the template you want. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna use a template called DD All Purpose. I'm gonna name it something like LP colon demo. I'm gonna create the page. Depending on which template you use, it's gonna look very different. So, because this specific template is using a flex column, meaning I can add and remove modules as needed, I'm going to add a module called All Purpose Module. And again, this is a drag and drop interface. I'm going to drag that, drop it there. Now I have an All Purpose Module, which is a custom module that we've built uh, on this page. So, I can go into this module, go into the tier item settings, and I can edit the content as needed. So, this is just demo content for a tutorial back this is some sort of unique unique ID save module demo content for tutorial again this is going to change based on every page just know that if you needed to use a drag and drop interface you can drag it here if it's using a flex column otherwise if the template already has modules in it like this, like a rich text, it'll just have this to be editable right there. Important part of landing pages, besides creating out all of the content for that specific page, are the settings. So this is the internal name. Nobody will ever see that, at least on the internet. This will only be used for internal naming purposes to help you find the page when sorting through all of your landing pages. Page title is what will actually be shown to uh, the internet so basically if someone searches for your page and it comes up in Google search results that title is what appears in one of the 10 blue links page URL is just the URL for this page in this case I want to just make it well I'm gonna say demo right and then say it's DD because I chose demo here and DD it's gonna be pulling in the page title and placing it into the page URL as a nice way to help you create the URL for you this case I don't want DD to be there so I'm just going to delete it and just keep demo. Meta description is a little short description that appears again in search results to help people give a better idea of what your page is about. So in this case this is a demo page. Short and sweet you don't want it to be too long keep it within less than 200 characters again we can assign it to a specific campaign and if so and if we wanted we could add a featured image. So this featured image would be used on social media uh, when sharing this page either through organically or paid. Advanced options, it's a little more complicated. You can password protect this page. Just note that the password is a shared password. Um, so anyone who wants to access this page has to use some sort of universal password. You, unless you're on Marketing Enterprise um, where you can have each user create their own password. Uh, password protecting this page would require just one password for everyone to use. You can't expire this page on a specific date. So once that date hits, this page will go down. You can include additional head and footer HTML on this page if you need it for something like Google Ads or add some sort of additional tracking on this page. And as you know, this is the template that this page is using. You can either use a different template or you can edit this template directly. Note that if you do edit the template, it will bring you to the design manager and give you a little pop-up on all of the other pages that are using this template. So again, the way templates work is if you edit this template, it will edit all of the other pages that are also using this template. So be very careful when editing a template because it can impact all of the other pages that are using it. If needed, you can add additional page style sheets to this specific page to give it a little more customization in terms of style uh, but normally that is not needed uh, because you want to be brand consistent finally you can publish your page now again because I enabled featured image it's not letting me publish it so I'm going to turn this off 
and you can publish it now, or you can schedule to publish it at a specific time. So let's say this was a some sort of time sensitive page and you didn't want it to go live until the 21st at 3 or 4 p.m. When you schedule this page, this page will remain inactive. So if somebody tries to go to right, info.directfilm.com slash demo, they'll receive a 404 page until that specific time on the 21st. Then the page will go live. Because I have not yet published this page, every time this saves, and it will save automatically, and you pr can press save by default, you can view revisions in this hamburger menu up here. This will tell you every single thing that has changed according to this page, right? So we started with nothing, and then we added this demo content. Once you actually publish this page though, the revisions only keeps track of the revisions made on each update, not on each save. So that's an important up, that's an important distinction that I want to make. Um, so as soon as this page is live, uh, the saves themselves are no longer tracked in the revisions, only the updates are. So let's say I wanted to publish this page now, right? I'm going to publish it now. This page is now live. So if I went to info.com slash demo, this is the page I see. But then if I go back into it, you note that it says update and no longer publish, right? So and also, again, now these revisions will only change every time I press update and not save. Important to note, if you do make changes to the content on this page, let's say then this is new content, it'll appear in the body of the page, it'll appear in the preview. So let's say again, this is an important one, if you wanted to preview this page without publishing it to go live, you go to this little eyeball in the top left, preview, open a new window. This will give you a live preview of what all the changes you've made in the editor. But if we go back to the regular page, and just refresh it, the content's not there because we haven't actually pressed update. So the live page won't be updated with the new content until you press update. So once I update this page with new content, and now I go back to my demo page, there's the new content. Um, on top of the preview, you do have emulators to give you a better idea of how it would look on mobile or tablet or right, your desktop devices. If you're using smart content, you can preview as a specific contact. Um, and that would give you a better idea of, you know, who is satisfying that, that enrollment criteria for that, that uh, smart content criteria. Edit modules just give you, on the, on the left, there's this cube looking icon. Uh, and it'll give you a list of all the modules on this page. Again, we have two rich text, an HTML, two flex columns, and the all-purpose module inside of this module and group. And again, if you want to add, let's say, another all-purpose module, you would search for this plus button, search for all purpose, you grab this all purpose module right here, or, you know, let's say you wanted something else, um, like a rich text or an image, you just pick it from here. These are default HubSpot modules. In this case, I still want my all purpose module. And I would just drag it. Just drag it right there. And again, now I have another all purpose module right there. So that's it for landing pages. Again, it's going to change depending on what template you use. Just know that you can add modules actively to a page if it's using something called flex columns. Otherwise, that template has hard coded in modules that you can edit directly.